Do, 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 do. I'm so excited. All right. Okay, I think we look good. Boom, baby, let's go. So keep me in your side. Cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So today I am partnering up with Mooncat to bring you a new collaboration between Mooncat and Disney. And this collection is inspired by Alice in Wonderland. If you are new to Mooncat, Mooncat is a US based independent brand. They fall on the more boutique and on the indie polish scale. They are cruelty free, they are vegan, they are also 10 free. And their bottles are 12 ml and they have a beautiful paddle brush. Since this is my first Mooncat review, I wanted to give you all like seeing these polishes in a variety of lighting so I did have my normal studio lighting my in my nail room that slash cave uh, with very low lighting because I generally keep it kind of dark in here when filming lights on and I also brought these outside into natural lighting I wanted to give you guys like the full experience <laughs> That was my rooster, ignore that. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, I got a couple of things to mention. The first being, if you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, although today's video is going up on Friday, featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back, how are you doing? Like. I had such a, oh, that was screaming. I had such a hard time keeping this secret from you guys. Like not being able to blab about what I'm currently doing is really, 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 really hard. <laughs> The products featured in today's video were sent to me by Mooncat for the purpose of swatching and reviewing. This video is also sponsored. Thank you very much Mooncat for sponsoring today's video. On top of these polishes being absolutely beautiful, there's also amazing packaging. <laughs> you all know I freaking love a good packaging moment, so let me just show you all the box. This collection also comes with a beautiful, a be beautiful collection box and I'll have a close-up on this in a second. On top of this collection having beautiful beautiful packaging there are also a couple of non-nail polish items that will also be available and this collection is also limited edition. I have no idea if this one is going to be restocked so like if you want these I'm just gonna say jump on it. I'll get more into pricing and availability at the end of the video. As always, down in the description box, I will have links to where you can purchase these polishes, links to the Mooncat social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolelovesnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos, as well as provide a written review. And of course, timestamps are also in the description box as well. Let's just get into this video. And here is just a quick look at the Mooncat bottle. Like, look at this cap. I have never seen a nail polish bottle with a cap like this. Here's what the Mooncat brush looks like. Here is the Mooncat collection box for the Alice in Wonderland collection. They went all out with this packaging, all out. Here is the next side. And so you've got like a jewelry box kind of situation. So it opens up here like this. And up here are the nail polish stickers, which I forgot to put back in here, but the nail polish stickers went in here. And then here is like the top layer. So we have three of the polishes plus the shape shifter crystal nail file. Here is a close up of that. And then the back packaging match matches the rest of the box. We close this and then you can see we have lift me and then pull me. And then turn it one handed, pulls out. And then the next three polishes in the release are in this bottom drawer as well as the wand for the magnetics. So all of the boxes have the same type of packaging by the way. And this here is a close up of the inside here. First up we have a very merry unbirthday which Mooncat describes as a purple lacquer jam pack with a shifty blue shimmer and color shifting blue to purple multi-chrome flakes. Very Merry on Birthday had a fantastic formula. I really expected this one to be a lot <laughs> thicker than it ended up being. You know, flakies tend to be on the thicker side, but this one was not at all. It was absolutely perfect. It is sheer enough on that first coat. I do think this one could play around pretty nicely as a topper. I chose to build this one up in three coats. Depending on your own personal preference as well as your application style, this one is passable in two coats. I did two thicker coats on my thumb and coverage was actually pretty much the same as the three thin coats on my rest of my fingers. Flakies in here are all super duper tiny so they do not dry down texture but they pack a punch. 
I was seeing a blue purple to pink color shift in person. This is one of those full coverage flaky polishes that if like you really look in between the flakes that are built up, you could see a little bit of your nail. I wouldn't call it visible nail line per se, like it's it's full coverage in my personal opinion at least. Time, nothing in here is going to dry down texture, but removal will be incredibly messy. Do not scrub this one off. Use that soak off method if you want a nice, clean, easy removal. Next up, we have Bread and Butterflies, which Mooncat describes as a golden yellow magnetic base filled with a color shifting pink to green to gold iridescent flaky, as well as holographic micro glitter that reveals a subtle green magnetic aura. Bread and Butterflies also had a fantastic formula and it was a little bit thinner than I expected, but by no means was it like a thin polish, just thinner than I expected for a flaky. I just love how the flakies and the magnetic shimmer play around with this yellowy golden base. For me personally, I would say it's more of a yellowy gold than a goldy yellow, but I fully recognize that those might be the same thing depending on who you ask. Here I'm magnetizing it with the Mooncat magnet that came with this collection. For my full hand swatches, I used a bar magnet for my middle nail and my pointer finger, and then my ring finger and pinky are unmagnetized. The magnetic effect on this one is more subtle. I am told that that was on purpose. You don't have like a crisp line, but you'll have like a very glowy look, which in my personal opinion really elevates the polish. Do you think this one is going to be a two to three coated depending on personal preference? I really like the amount of opacity that I personally got in two coats. I only added a third coat to my swatches to magnetize that final layer. Right down slightly textured, but I found one coat of top coat smoothed everything out really nicely for me. Removal is not going to be like incredibly difficult. It sure will be messy, so I do not recommend scrubbing this one off. Next up is Cheshire Cat, which Mooncat describes as being a purple magnetic lacquer filled with a multicolored iridescent flaky, as well as micro holographic glitter that reveals a bright pink magnetic stripe. As someone who is kind of obsessed with anything involving a purple base, flakies, and pink, I love this one. It starts off pretty sheer on that first coat. I was really surprised at how opaque it was on the second coat. I did still add a third coat because I, again, I just really like to get the base opaque before I start messing around with the magnet. I found unmagnetized, this one has a very pinky purple kind of look to it. Once you magnetize it, then you can really see that royal purple base come out to play. I played around with this one with a variety of different magnets and I found it magnetized very easily for me. Personally, I love this one magnetized. I wasn't super crazy about it unmagnetized, but like you can definitely do that if that's what you want to do. I will fully admit I do not have the best level of patience to work with magnetic, so I generally just hold a magnet for 20 to 30 seconds tops. I was really happy with how my magnetic effect came out with this one, even though I could not sit there for 60 seconds with the magnet. And though the magnetic effect looks really cool, I really do think the flakies and the hollow are my favorite part about this one. Like the flakies, this looks so pretty. So I swatched this one in two coats coats on my ring and pinky and then three coats magnetized on my middle nail and pointer nail. Oval won't be bad as like a full micro glitter polish but those flakies will definitely make things very messy. One more time for the people in the back. Do not scrub this one off. Next up is do you play croquet? Mooncat described this one as a light orchid pink lacquer filled with a color shifting iridescent flaky, soft pink shimmer, reflective glitter, as well as micro holographic glitter. Remember how I said I was going to stop saying that I don't like certain colors? This is the kind of color that I would previously say that I don't like it, but I got this one on my nails and I was like, oh wow, I like it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say that I don't like orchids anymore because this is like the fourth one that I've swatched that I ended up liking. So clearly I like orchids. Formula on this one was fantastic. It felt a bit more crelly like than some of the other colors in the release. I really liked how this one looked on me in two coats, but you might need three coats if your nails are, you know, longer than mine or a wider nail line. As far as the reflective glitter goes, I could see it in the bottle. Like I could see pink reflective glitter in the bottle. On my nails, I was not seeing any reflective glitter. Looking at my footage here, I can see some silver reflective properties, but I'm not seeing like the pink reflective glitter that I was kind of seeing in the bottle. Could see the holographic very easily though. This one dried down the most textured from the whole collection. However, I did not need to use a glitter smoothing top coat with it. I just did one thick coat of my quick dry top coat and that smoothed everything out really nicely. Removal, of course, is going to be on the more difficult side. If you scrub this one off, don't do that. Soak off method or use a peel off base coat. Next up, we have Mad Hatter, which Mooncat describes as a black magnetic lacquer jam packed with micro holographic glitter, 
green to purple multi-chrome flakes that reveals a rich green magnetic stripe. As someone who doesn't generally gravitate very strongly towards darker shades, I was really surprised by how much I like this one. The magnetic pigment paired with the hollow, paired with the flakies, it was just a really beautiful combination on the nail. Unmagnetized, it has a very strong green look. You don't really see too much of that black base until you magnetize this one and magnetize, it is beautiful. For my full hand swatches, I magnetize my middle nail and my pointer finger with a bar magnet. For the live swatch, you just saw me magnetizing it with a ring magnet. Level of regret I feel at not using the ring magnet for my full hand swatches. <laughs> it looks so cool. I really, really like this one. As I mentioned previously, I am not great with holding the magnet on for terribly long, so I did find that my lines dispersed a little bit. I'm not mad at that at all because I loved how this one turned out. This was, again, this was a surprise favorite for me. This one was also a bit more color shifty than I expected. The magnetic effect has a green, blue to purple color shift in person. So I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat, both magnetized and unmagnetized. Removal won't be terribly difficult. You could scrub it off if you really wanted, even though I still wouldn't recommend doing it. And the final polish in the release is called Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much, which Mooncat describes as a light blue lacquer filled with a blue shimmer, color shifting iridescent flakies, as well as micro hollow glitter. No surprise to anyone, this polish also had a fantastic formula, just like all the other polishes in the release. One more time, I did expect it to be a lot thicker than it ended up being, but it was by no means thin. It might be a little bit rusty on my Alice in Wonderland, but I think this one was probably inspired by Alice. This is a very soft, icy shade of blue, very delicate looking as well. I think this one's gonna be a two to three coater depending on your personal preference. For my full hand swatches, I swatched this one in two coats. It have some visible nail line in two coats. However, I personally thought it looked really soft and delicate. Soft and delicate was kind of the vibe that I was getting from this one, so that's what I went with but you can definitely add a third coat if that's what you want to go for. I know I love a good iridescent flaky moment and this one was very beautiful. Definitely want to top coat those flakies to give this one a nice smooth finish, but the flakies do not dry down like overly textured by any means. Removal will be incredibly messy. I would not recommend scrubbing this one off for sure. This collection also comes with some nail art stickers. So I said to myself, Nicole, why not, you know, record yourself putting them on? How bad can it be? I don't work with nail art stickers terribly often, but I did find these were some of the thinnest ones that I've personally tried. I opted to use a set of tweezers to get them off of the sticker sheet, but you know, you don't have to use a pair of tweezers if you don't want to. They come off relatively easily, but I did find myself kind of fumbling a little bit trying to stay in the frame. If you're new to watching me do any kind of nail art, I have a chronic condition that causes me to do too much, not know when to stop. So I really went ham on putting these stickers onto my nail. <laughs> like I realized that I was putting way too many. Then I was like, you know what? Let me just fill the whole nail because we're here. I would recommend top coating these as I've been wearing them for most of today and some of them are popping off and I did not add any top coat to them. The package of stickers comes with two identical sheets. Even with me doing a full manicure, I still have a ton of stickers left on both sheets. This collection was good. So this wasn't my first time trying Mooncat polishes, but this is my first time having a Mooncat review up on the channel. I was impressed. I was impressed. We all know I am a sucker when it comes to packaging. You give me good packaging. Generally, I'm going to be pretty happy. On top of these all having really fantastic formulas, I was ecstatic, ecstatic about this collection. While the formulations in this collection weren't new to me by any means, these were my first time trying them from Mooncat, I was very happy with it. As someone who doesn't generally gravitate very strongly towards anything with like a black base, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I liked Mad Hatter. I don't know if it's because the Mad Hatter is one of my favorite characters from Alice in Wonderland, or if it was just like this redonkulously shifty shimmer. Actually, yeah, I think it was the shifty shimmer because I wasn't even thinking about the inspirations when I was swatching. So yeah, the Shifty Shimmer definitely got me with this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. As far as top picks go, I think I'm gonna go with Bread and Butterflies, which is actually what's on my swatch hand right now. I think this one got me, I think the gold-ish kind of base with that green shimmer and the flakies plus the holographic, I'm pretty sure that's why this one's making it to my top list. Like usually I try to save which polish I think will be my favorite for the last one I swatched from a release. And this was the last one that I swatched in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one as my favorite. I also really like Do You Play Croquet as well as Mad Hatter. Those those three I think will be my top, top picks. If you are new to Mooncat, they have some of the prettiest bottles in my personal opinion in the, in the nail polish world. There is this something, hold, let me just show you. 
These bottles, like, I cannot get enough of them. And, like, I initially thought that this cap would make polishing my nails kind of difficult, but I found it very easy to work with. Like, I didn't have any issues with it. It felt, it felt very nice in my hand as well. And the glass also feels just, it's a really pretty bottle. Like, this is the kind of bottle that if I was the type to display my nail polishes, like, as, like, room decor, I would go with these because they're really, really cool. Like, I just... I love this cap. The cap is, the cap is where it's at. <laughs> Cheesy! <laughs> but seriously, I freaking love this cap. This collection launches Friday, June 23rd at 9 a.m. Pacific on the Mooncat website. Would it be a Nicole Loves Nails video without an editing Nicole moment? Probably not. As far as pricing goes, each polish is priced at $15 for 12 ml bottles. However, Cheshire Cat and Mad Hatter are priced at $16. The nail art stickers will be $12 and the nail file will be $10. The entire collection set is priced at $114. Mooncat does have a few international stockist pages. I'm not 100% sure at the time of recording if they'll also be getting these, but I will have links to both the Mooncat website and as well as their stockist pages that I am aware of so that like international folks can also hop on these. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a limited edition collaboration. Based on how quickly the last collab went, I would highly suggest for folks to hop on the website as soon as possible on Friday to pick these up if any of these are of interest to you. So I would love to know if everyone else saw this release. Like, are you planning on picking up? Have you already picked it up? So usually I post my videos on Saturdays. I will be posting this one on the Friday, just, you know, so that you guys can get to things a little bit faster. And don't forget to give this video a big old like and comment down below if you really like me having Mooncat reviews. Let them know that you guys would like to see more of them on the channel, cause you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, before we get into this video, I want to give a very special shout out to my channel members. Besties, just thank you all so freaking much. Like, you guys are the best. Don't forget, we have a live stream later today. Everyone else, I'll see you on Sunday's live stream. Just thank you all so very much for watching this video. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you again to the Mooncat team for sending this collection over, as well as for sponsoring today's video. Everyone have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you in the next one.